so fragile. Good morning guys, Chris here and it's a beautiful morning here in Eastern Norway. A beautiful day to do a Volvo V90 review. Guys, finally I'm doing a review on the Volvo V90. I know I've said to you guys for months I'm gonna do it but it's just been so busy with work before Christmas and a lot of stuff to do but now it's January it's a little calmer for my sake so that means I have time to take the V90 out and give it a proper review. First off, the V90 is a very pretty car. As you can see behind me, it's a gorgeous car. It's a stunner. It's probably the best looking station wagon on the market today. Very low, very wide. It's a very gorgeous car actually. And then we have the interior and just like the exterior, this interior is best in class. And I've talked about this so many times before and it still holds true. It's better than the A6 better than the E-Class and better than the BMW 5 Series, the new one. And I must admit, I might think the E-Class is just as pretty as this, but quality-wise, there's no faulting this interior. Soft touch plastics everywhere, real leathers. This car's equipped with the, the metal trim. This is real tr metal. And then you have soft touch plastics. It just feels very solid, this, this whole construction. Interior wise, this car is also very big. You can see here, I have a lot of room. I'm not the biggest guy, but really I'm bathing in, in space here. And likewise with the rear seat, I'm now sat behind myself. And again, I'm not the tallest person. I'm about five foot seven, so I'm a short guy. But even six, six foot three guys would have a lot of room here. It's wide, it's long, it's very comfortable back here. The trunk is huge, as you can see, so this is a very spacious car and actually very comfortable. The carpeting here and the chrome details are actually very nice. Driving wise, the V90, as expected, is a very nice, car to drive it's a real pleasure actually the suspension is tuned right in between comfort and sportiness it's not too soft it's not too harsh it's not too sporty and it's not too you know dozed off it's a very nice middle ground indeed and especially this car with 17 inch wheels with very tall sidewalls has a Remarkable ride, one of the best rides in this class. The cabin is also a very quiet place, even though this car has only the single pane glass, you can get a you know a double, a laminated glass with two panes as an option, which just gives this car a, a superbly quiet ride. The only downside, you know, it dynamically and you know refinement refinement wise about this car is this diesel engine and once you know it's warmed up and you don't rev it out too much it's actually quite quite quiet very refined not much to complain about but especially cold start wise it is very very loud and when you're idling, for some reason, I've only found this to be true in the V90, but while idling, there is a lot of exhaust sound from the rear of the car. So something about the sound insulation in the trunk isn't up to par compared to, well, the, the competitors, BMW, Audi, Mercedes, and even other Volvo products, such as the XC90, just does sound insulation from the exhaust, from the rear end of this car, much better but otherwise than that there's no faulting this this car and then we have the tech guys and i've covered this before this is not the first time i'm testing the v90 you know i've driven the s90 a bunch 
The V90 Cross Country, one of my favorite cars, driven that multiple times, but then we have the tech, we have this gorgeous 12.1 inch TFT digital gauge cluster, one of the best in the business. And also the sensus infotainment guys, as you can see here, it's a gorgeous 9.3 inch responsive touchscreens. Though on this car, when it's cold, the response is, is, is very poor, like the first minute or two. That's very annoying. And I know a lot of guys have had issues with that. I haven't on the Volvos I've owned or the press cars I've had, but this, the first rental car, the second rental car I've had, I have had issues with it. So there's there's no faulting response now. Now the ignition is not even on, so that's why it won't respond. But as you can see here, very quick responses but the issue I've had with this car I want to show you guys because as you can see this thick line here we have to maximize that this thick line here is the border between this is Norway and this is Sweden and obviously guys I am in Norway I live in Norway but this car thinks we are in Sweden so since the winter or, or Christmas vacation when we went to the mountains this GPS has just lost its bearings it doesn't quite know where it is so that's a calibration issue but that's the only issue I've had with this car so there you have it guys the review of the 2017 Volvo V90 D3 all-wheel drive inscription. It's a brilliant car and a brilliant station wagon. One of the prettiest and the coolest station wagons on the market today. But I have one caveat, one nagle about this car, and that's the D3 diesel engine. If, if it was me and my money, I would go for the T4 or the T5 gas engine. I've talked about the T5 gas engine so many times. It's my pick of the range. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.